Welcome to Video Culinary. This is my grandma Emma. Hi. I am Daniela and today we're making a giant Twix bar. Make the soft caramel. Place 300 grams of sugar and 400 milliliters of cream in a pan with high sides. Bring to boil, stirring to dissolve the sugar. Be careful, the caramel bubbles up. Add 200 grams of glucose syrup and continue cooking, stirring constantly until the caramel reaches 110 degrees Celsius. Turn off the heat, add a pinch of salt and 15 grams of butter. Set aside to cool. Make the cookie dough. Separate two eggs. Mix the yolks with 60 ml of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla sugar and a pinch of salt. We won't be using the egg whites for this recipe. You could make Italian hazelnut meringue cookies or coconut macaroons with the leftover egg whites later. Find these recipes on our website videoculinary.com Place 150 grams of soft butter in the bowl of a stand mixer. Add 100 grams of sugar and mix on low speed just to combine. Gradually add the milk and yolk mixture. Add 300 grams of sifted flour in a few batches and mix just until combined. You could also make this dough by hand. Wrap in plastic wrap and refrigerate for one hour. Roll the cooled caramel between two sheets of parchment paper into a 24 by 30 cm rectangle and place in the fridge. Remove the cookie dough from the fridge and leave at room temperature for about 20 minutes. Roll into a 24 by 30 cm rectangle. Place on a sheet pan and pierce holes using a fork. Bake in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Remove from the oven and immediately cut into two equal parts of 12 by 30 centimeters. To cover the giant Twix with chocolate, it has to be tempered first. Tempering chocolate is the process of melting chocolate and then cooling it down, while following specific steps to get the right type of cocoa butter crystals to form. Chocolate that has been tempered is glossy and has a sharp snap. Untempered chocolate will bloom and develop white spots and streaks. There are different ways to temper chocolate, but all of them are based on the same principles. In this recipe, we'll temper the chocolate using the seeding method, 
You'll find other tempering techniques on the tricks and tips section on our website videoculinary.com. Dark milk and white chocolate are heated and cooled at different temperature zones. We're using dark chocolate of 50% cocoa for this recipe. If you're working with a different chocolate, make sure to temper it accordingly. If you don't want to temper chocolate, just use compound chocolate, which doesn't contain cocoa butter and doesn't require tempering. Place 200 grams of chocolate in a dry bowl. Set over simmering water and melt, stirring gently. Heat to 46 degrees Celsius. The temperature zone for this step is 43 to 49 degrees Celsius. Remove from the heat, add about 100 grams of chocolate that has already been tempered. A chocolate bar would be perfect for this. You could add it in one chunk or in small pieces. Keep adding chocolate and mixing it in until it no longer melts. Remove any unmelted chunks. Place the bowl over simmering water and heat the chocolate to 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, stirring constantly. Be careful, if the temperature climbs above 32 degrees Celsius, you'll have to start tempering all over again. Remove the caramel from the fridge. Cut into two equal pieces of 12 by 30 centimeters. Pour some of the chocolate on a piece of parchment paper. Spread into a 12 by 30 centimeter rectangle. Place the caramel layer on top, then the biscuit layer. Another caramel layer and the final biscuit layer, flat side facing up. Pour some chocolate on top and spread evenly. Place a piece of parchment paper on top and invert. Peel the parchment paper off the top layer and trim any excess chocolate from the edges. Spread some chocolate into a rectangle and place the side of the giant Twix bar on top. Once set, cut the excess chocolate and remove the paper. Repeat with the other side. You could use a different method for covering the giant Twix with chocolate if you prefer. Pour more chocolate on top and use a spatula or a spoon to spread the chocolate and make a wavy pattern. The giant Twix bar is ready to serve. Enjoy! If you like chocolate bars, check out our recipe for homemade sneakers, Mars, bounty bars and other recipes on videoculinary.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye.